We now go to Zambia for the market update of what's happening there and we're joined by Noel Nkoma who is CEO of Better Now Finance Company. Morning Noel, uh, I, the talk about uh, the story about the recent capping of interest rates, what's behind that uh, capping? Uh, well, uh, this is a policy decision that the central bank uh, took. I think the background of uh, political pressure uh, to be able to uh, make uh, credit affordable to the you know larger uh, sections of the population in terms of SMEs. And what happened is that the Bank of Zambia decided to cut the interest rates in terms of the maximum that commercial bank can lend, and that put that ceiling at 18% per annum. Then they've also gone further to cut the microfinance companies' uh, uh, lending rates in terms of the maximum again that they can go, which is uh, being benchmarked on 30 percent and another sector depending on how they rate the macrofin at 43 percent again this was to be able to re, uh, reduce the cost of borrowing by the SMEs and also the consumers in terms of the members of the public but it has really not settled well in the market in the sense that uh, the financial sector believes that uh, there is the, some kind of indirect regulation which the Bank of Zambia. Right. Well, obviously this is going to, this is going to have an effect, now because uh, there will have been people if they've capped the rates, there will have been people lending at much higher than that, and that's why they've done it. Now, what effect is this going to have, uh, and on the macro, the the, the big the big uh, lenders, the unsecured lenders? What is the effect going to be on the financial sector? Yes, in fact, the effects have already been uh, being filled in terms of the negative effects because what is happening now, one of the uh, largest uh, uh, provider of microfinance credit in the market, in the name of Blue Financial Services, it has already uh, indicated that it is uh, withdrawing uh, its position in the market by way of closing off uh, quite a number of branches and retail outlets because they believe that... Um, the current capping of the interest rates has made extension of credit um, uh, very uh, expensive for the simple reason that if you look at Zambia, credit profiling, it is more or less a very risky business. And as such, it means that if you are not going to go by the capped interest rate, the risk uh, ratios are going to go up and as such, it will expose these uh, institutions to bad debt and loans, which basically in the long term cannot be sustainable. So they are withdrawing, and many others have also given that indication that they are also reviewing their positions with a view to withdraw. So the impact will be on the consumers themselves, on the SMEs, because if they have to access credit at capped interest rates as proposed by the government, it will mean that the uh, credit evaluation process and the due diligence will be more stringent, and very few, if any, will be able to qualify. Because one of the things that they do not, the majority of the borrowers don't have is security. Right. Well, let's just finish off with uh, the Quacha, and uh, that's uh, appreciated marginally in February. So let's just finish off with a view on the currency now. Yes, I think the, the marginal uh, appreciation of the Quacha, I think it's as a consequence of the government now beginning to. Uh, draw down and disperse, you know, the, 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 the money or the funds that they were able to uh, secure through the, you know, the euro bond. I think you are very much aware that Zambia last year floated one of the successful uh, 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 euro bonds on the international market where 750 million was committed. And these are the effects that are now beginning to, to, to trickle in. And I think one of the things that I think is evident is that the government is extremely ambitious to try and get the capital projects in terms of revamping the rural infrastructure. It, it, it's quite substantial amount of money has been allocated to that project and also the nitrogen uh, chemicals of Zambia, which has been more or less uh, undercapitalized over years. So they're now beginning to release those monies into the economy so that the uh, re restoration of the infrastructure can begin to, to move forward.